Hi, this is Grant with Gypsy Souls. Today I'm going to be talking about how to de-winterize your fifth wheel or RV. So this is my fifth wheel right here. It's a Montana Mountaineer edition. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go visually inspect any of your lines just to make sure over the winter that there are no leaks and nothing is loose. If there's anything loose on any of these or any drips or you see any red stains from the antifreeze then you want to tighten those or uh, replace any parts. Okay you want to do the same thing with your faucets everything uh, that could have water outside kitchen showers everything like that just give it a visual inspection make sure that everything's okay and there's no leaks and that everything's tight. Step two is you want to drain all your tanks. You want to drain your fresh water tank. You want to drain your gray and your sewage. Okay, when we drain the tanks, you want to make sure that you do the black water first. And then after the black water has drained, then you want to do the gray water so that the gray water flushes out the rest of the black water, the sewage. You can see down here I took the cap off the low point of the fresh water and the antifreeze is just running out from there. So I'm draining that from the fresh water tank. You want to let that drain completely. Same thing over here for these low points. You want to go over to your water heater. Just make sure that the anode is out and that any any liquid is drained out of there. We'll just let that air out a bit. Okay, after everything has run out all the antifreeze out of the low pipe the low drains you want to recap those next thing you want to do is drain any of the outside lines I have an outside kitchen sink here and burner just open up the line cold line first Hot line. Okay, nothing's coming out. Okay, on this side is my outside shower. Same thing. Just gonna open this up. Cold. Alright, nothing's coming out. Hot. Button's coming out. Close those off. Okay, next thing I want to do is drain any of the extra water in the city connection. Just open that up. And you have to pop off this little screen. Okay. And inside here, there's this little little white button there. And we just push it in and some extra antifreeze. You can see a little bit here, but depending on how pressurized your system is, some antifreeze might shoot out there. Then put that screen back in. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is fill the fresh water tank up. Water's going in through here, down into the fresh water. Then you just want to check to make sure that you're, keep an eye on your uh, fresh water tank, the monitor, to make sure when it's full. Okay, we're at full, you can see. So fresh water's full, so we'll shut it off now. 
Okay, we're back inside. We shut off the water. Now we're going to turn on the water pump. And if the water pump doesn't stop after everything's pressurized, if it continues to run, this means that there's a leak somewhere or something isn't tight enough or the system isn't pressurized. So you'll have to find that leak or find that spot that it's not tightened. Maybe you didn't put on one of the caps tightly when you recap the low drains. So let's try it. I don't know if you could hear that. So that's my water pump pressurizing. And it pressurized and it stopped. So now we're going to start running the water. Uh, we're going to start furthest away from the uh, water pump and we're going to turn on the cold water first and the antifreeze should come out and then we'll run it till it goes clear okay let it run clear a little bit okay we're going to do all the colds first This one I had a crack in the, in the faucet here, so I'm just going to put a towel around in case it starts spraying. Yep. So you never won't know what to expect after the winter. Uh, we did have some water that froze, so that was probably it. It cracked, cracked a piece there, so I'll have to fix that. Yeah, so you could see here, um, because water froze in there over the winter, that, that washer cracked there. And then a piece of the metal going around this base, this base here, it also cracked off. So I'm going to have to fix that before I can run this. Or I'm just going to attach a hose or something else so that I can run the antifreeze through for now. Now you notice I have a new faucet, that's because I replaced this faucet uh, since that old one broke and I made a video about how to do that. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Next is the toilet. I'll just flush that until it flushes clear. Okay, it looks clear to me. If you have a washer or a dryer, you should also run it through there. So I attached the hose here, and I just got a some kind of bucket. And I'm just going to turn it on. I'm just letting that go until it runs clear. Okay, looks like it's clear. Finally, you want to open up your city water connection. Pop out this little screen. Up inside there, there's a little button. Make sure that you don't push it too hard. Just push it straight with your finger. Watch your face because some water could spray out. So just push it straight and you can see there's water dripping out. Just make sure that's clear and that's not antifreeze. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll share uh, links to any of uh, the products that I used in the video description. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Have a great day.